welcome back into this new video of TechPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started and importing reviews to your Shopify store in a very easy way. I'm going to be using something called Judge.me. It's going to be really, really easy tutorial. So the very first thing I wanted to do is to focus directly into Shopify. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description guys so we can all get started with an actual huge deal just in case you haven't cleaned it yet. So. Once we are directly here into our actual store, what you want to do, of course, is to get started by once you have access to the dashboard, let's of course get started and first of all, make sure they have products in order to showcase it into Shopify. So since I do have one, two, three products into Shopify, what I need to do is to make sure that I do have now the access to the space where I can add the judge.me reviews. So I want to add the reviews in here. I want to add some stars into the upper side here and check out how reviews I currently have. So we're going to be using judge.me to this process. Let's go here back into the average trade section. And here what I need to do is to go into the left part that says applications. Here into apps, just type the word judged. And here you can see that we have judge.me, AliExpress reviews, and product reviews application. Let's add to this one that says product reviews application. This one should be sending us directly into the section of the Shopify app store when we need to grant the access between the app and our store. So hit now into install. This one, of course, should be prompted to ask you, of course, to accept the application needs. Let's go for install. And once you have done this process, you might be how access into judge.me, but inside the dashboard of the Shopify. So making the connection between the judge.me and the Shopify should be much more easier. Now, this is the part where I wanted to set up my judge.me account. Now, once we have our actual judge.me application set it up, it's going to be asking you the language you want to get started with. Where would you like to install this and start the setup? In this case, I'm going to be using the only thing that I'm currently using. Now, to enable this app into the website, we need, of course, to make sure that I have just installed the Embeamed section. So let's go for Enable App Embeamed. Make sure automatically, of course, this one should be done automatically, but just make sure that this one is enabled. So once we are into the administrator editor of the Shopify, I wanted to make sure that I do have the app Embeamed and this one is active. If this one is inactive, then activate it. Then go for Save and go back directly into the installation process. Let's go for continue and do exactly the same thing with the other widget. For example, the widget of the review widget. So once again, I'm into the area of the application and go for continue and do exactly the same thing. There we go. We have now successfully installed the judge.me with all the widgets required. I'm gonna leave this page just to make sure that we have like a before and the after uh, website. Now here, now that we have access to the judge.me, let's get started with our first review. Here, what you can do is to make sure that I can reload the page. I'm going to open this into a new tab. Reload the page once again. And basically, I should have now accessed and I should see that my actual review appears in here. If it doesn't appear, you don't have to worry about it. You can just write your first review here. For example, I have the customer review. And I start with my, my very first review. So let's go, for example, the first review. Uh, give you title of review. Let's say, I love this clothes. Review. I really liked my product. Super happy with it. And the smile fails. So try to be um, as original as you possibly can. If you have a picture or a video, you can add it there. Now the name. Let's go for Stephen. Oopsie daisy and have an email. Now, since it's just an email, for example, let's go for example at example.com and submit my review. When somebody submitted a review, this review automatically should be appearing into my dashboard of the judge.me reviews. I can go into manage my reviews and here should be appearing the review that we have just created. In this case, since I haven't added the review section, I'm going to try this once again. Now let's go back, manage my reviews. And you can see that my review is now appearing in here. So usually, automatically the application knows when it is an actual great or bad rating. If you have a bad rating, you can choose the option that says three dots. And of course, to view or review so you can check it out if this one is published or not published. Once you approved the review of this product, you can go back, reload the page, and you should see now that the actual review that you generated is now appearing into your product. So down here, you can see that I have now one review 
and my custom reviews added in here. There are more things that you can customize, for example, like the price, for example, like the colors, um, much more elements here into the widget section and the general settings. But that is something else for another tutorial. So that, guys, is how you can actually get starting adding your stuff using Dutch.me. So thank you once again for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to receive more amazing tools of how you can get started using this great application of Dutch.me. Thank you guys again for watching this video, guys. Hopefully, we can see you next time.